and to get even a better understanding of how we convert objects like bullets traveling in a straight line path into the equivalent angular momentum, we're going to do it like this, where the bullet is not exactly perpendicular from the path of its motion to the point of rotation, but somewhere before it gets to that point. What is its equivalent angular momentum at this particular time or at this particular location? Notice that as it travels along its path, at any point in time, its angular momentum would change due to its relative position from the assumed point of rotation. So the best way to look at it is to say, all right, let's find the component of the velocity that is perpendicular to the line connecting the point of rotation and the bullet. And so if we do that, we're looking at this velocity. Let me use a different color. So that would be this velocity right here. This velocity would be the perpendicular component of its actual velocity, perpendicular to the line from the point of rotation to the bullet. Now, what is that equal to? So that would be the velocity perpendicular. And of course, when we look at that, we have to find the angle between its actual velocity and this component. Now notice that this line right here is perpendicular to the, ten, to the, the uh, perpendicular velocity. And this line right here is perpendicular to this line right here. So the angle between those two lines must therefore equal the angle between those two right there. And so we can then assume that this also is equal to theta. Again, notice how we do that. This line here is perpendicular to that. This line here is perpendicular to this. So the angle between these two lines must equal the angle between those two lines. So that's equal to theta. That means that the tangential velocity, or I should say perpendicular velocity, the perpendicular velocity uh, to this line connecting the point of rotation to the bullet is equal to its actual velocity times the cosine of theta, because theta here is the adjacent angle to that particular velocity. All right, now that we have that, we can now assume that the bullet is traveling as if it was going around in a circle like this with a radius equal to r with a velocity equal to v perpendicular. And that now becomes the tangential velocity in this assumed circular path. Then we can say, well, if that's all true, then the angular momentum is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular velocity. And the relationship between the tangential velocity and the angle velocity is equal to r times angular velocity, or the angle velocity is equal to the tangential velocity divided by r. Now in this case, the tangential velocity is this component right here. So that's equal to v perpendicular divided by r, which is equal to v times the cosine of theta divided by r. So that now becomes the assumed angular velocity of the bullet along this circular path. That is the velocity that will give it the assumed angular um, momentum. All right, so angular momentum equals i times omega. We found omega that's equal to that. So what is the i? Again, the i is simply equal to the mass times the radius of its motion squared. So that would be the radius right here. So it would be m times this r squared. So we have L of the bullet is equal to the mass of the bullet times the radius of its path squared. That would be this r, not this d right here times omega, and omega is going to be v times the cosine of theta divided by r. Now notice this r cancels out one of those, and so we have the angle of momentum is equal to m r v cosine theta. So in this case, that would be the mass of the bullet, which is 0 0.02 kilograms, times the radius, in this case that would be 10 meters, times the velocity, which is 300 meters per second, times the cosine of 60 degrees. Of course, the cosine of 60 is 1 half. So then we, that gives us 0 0.01 times 10, that's 0 0.1 times 30, that would be equal to 30 meters, oh, that would be 30 kilograms meters per second. 30 kilograms meters per second. And that is how you find the angular momentum of a bullet at any position along a straight path relative to a point of rotation. And that's how you do that.